Welcome to Fairlanes in Halifax, Nova Scotia. We are in round eight of the World Team Championships, and this is the second string, the end of the second string of a match between USA East, the defending world champions, and Big 20 Recreation Center of Scarborough, Maine. Right now, there are two bowlers left to bowl for each team. Uh, the other three bowlers have finished the, uh, the string. And right now, in through the bowlers who have finished, USA East leads by a score of 404 to 393. So each team has two more bowlers to bowl two boxes apiece. That's Ed Tringali on lane 12, and he throws a strike. He's bowling against Brian Purdy of Big 20, and Brian drops eight, leaving a 3-6. And Brian with the spare. The uh, three bowlers who have already completed this string for USA East, Dave Godwin had a 130, Brian Mayer had a 151, and Nate Neely with a 123. For Big 20, Quincy Adams had a 148, Scott Suris had a 124, and Tim Matera with a 121. Ed Tringali working on the strike. He drops six. Brian Purdy also drops six. So Brian has 118 through nine. And Ed Tringali still has a ball to throw. He fills that strike with eight. So he's got 121 through nine. And both bowlers are going to be open in the 10th frame. They will give way to Sean Morrison for USA East and Mark Carrier for Big 20. So as Sean and Mark come up to, uh, to bowl the last two boxes, Big 20 leads by five pins. And both Sean and Mark are working on strikes that they threw in the eighth frame. So it's a five pin lead for Big 20. Sean Morrison, as you know, is the main state champion and he drops eight, actually nine, leaving a three pin. Mark Carrier with an eight drop, he's got the one and seven. A couple of spare opportunities for Sean Morrison and Mark Carrier. very tight match. In this match, USA East won the first game by a score of 617 to 582, and Sean Morrison drills that spare in the ninth. Let's see if Mark Carrier can make this 1-7 to keep, keep the pace, and he does. Really nice shot there. He hit the left side of the one, the one pin, and take a look at it on replay. Just about a perfect shot. Uh, I think that probably would have gone without the wood. Mark Carrier uh, hits the left side of the head pin and the ball is deflected over into the seven. So that maintains the five pin lead for Big 20. Sean Morrison with a very important fill ball. He drops nine. And he's got the six pin piece of wood next to it. Pretty good chance to make another spare. Wow, Mark Carrier with a nice ball in the one-two pocket, but only six. So that cuts it down to just a two-pin lead for Big 20. And if Sean Morrison can make this spare, that'll put them in the driver's seat because Mark has a tough spare. But Sean goes by the six pin, meaning that Mark Carrier is not going to have to make a spare to, to hang on since they're up by two pins. He's just gonna have to pick pins, but he only gets one, so let's see. Sean Morrison with the 10, meaning that Mark Carrier needs one pin here to tie and two to win this second string in this three string match. And he's got the two. Mark Carrier with a clutch shot there to seal this second string. By one pin, as you can see the score, Big 20, 665, USA East, 664. So, USA East still leads in total pinfall because they won the first string. 
but uh, there's still one more string to go in this match, and we will have coverage of that string later in the week.